Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about distances in space. We're firstly going to talk about why we need units that are bigger than kilometers, these big units, uh, and then we're going to go through three of the units that are used, astronomical units, light years, parsecs, and how we actually measure distance in space. Uh, so firstly, why do we need big units? Now we're all used to seeing pictures of the solar system, just like this one, where all the planets are lined up in a neat little row. But that's not what it actually is, looks like. Space is really, 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 really big, and there's a lot of emptiness between planets, which is why it's called space. Uh, in fact, if we were to make a scale model of the solar system, where we had a big one of those big gym balls, about 65 centimetres, and that was the sun, Earth would be smaller than a pea, and it would be half a football field away, or more than half that actually, but there'd be... Well, not nothing, but there's only two little things between Earth and that gym ball. So instead of having all this blackness between them, uh, when we make pictures, because black is boring, we just crop that out and put them right next to each other like this. Uh, but this means that we can't just use kilometres, we need bigger units. Now, the first unit we'll look at, and the smallest one, are called astronomical units. And these are fine for measuring things within our solar system. An astronomical unit is defined as the average distance between the Earth and the Sun in, throughout its rotation. And the Earth does move closer and further away from the Sun, it's not a perfect circle, uh, but we just take an average of that and call that one astronomical unit. And that's great for measuring things in our solar system. So instead of looking at thousands and thousands of kilometres, we can just go, oh yeah, Earth, one astronomical unit from the Sun. Mars, 1.5 astronomical units. Neptune, 55 astronomical units. Um, so we can measure these things within our solar system. When we go outside of our solar system, this distance, which is really, really big, like we're talking 150 million kilometres, gets small. That's where light years come into it. So light does have a speed, and the speed is really fast. It's three. 100,000 kilometers per second, which, and you think about that distance in a second, that's a long way to go in a second. Then you've got to think about how, if traveling at that speed, how far would that go in a year? Which is a really, really, really long way. But these are the types of distances that we're talking about in space. Now that's like 9.5 trillion kilometers over a year, um, which is, seems, really, really big, like it's mind-bogglingly big. Um, however, our closest star, the closest star to Earth, uh, is 4.3 light years away, okay, Alpha Centauri. That's a really, really long way. And that's our closest one. There's heaps of things that are much, much further than that. Another unit that we have, and it's more of a technical unit, it's used by um, astronomers and in astrophysics and stuff like that, and it's called parsecs. Now, it's defined as the distance at which an astronomical unit subtends an angle of one arc second, which is complicated. Uh, but what that means is that we've got the Sun here, the Earth here, and so we've got one astronomical distance between the Sun and the Earth. And that distance is a triangle with an angle, so it's a very, very pointy triangle, much pointier than this one looks like, um, of one arc second. Okay, so we got degrees, one degree gets broken down into 60 minutes, 60 minutes gets broken down into 60 seconds. So that's really, really pointy triangle. And that is how far a parsec is. And it's roughly equal to about 3.2 light years. And the reason that we use parsecs is because that's how we actually measure things in space. We can't get out a ruler and measure from the Earth to a star or something like that. It's obviously ridiculous. Uh, so we measure things using what's called parallax. Parallax is the phenomenon that uh, distant things seem to move around compared to small things depending on where you are. A really easy way to get your head around this is to hold your arm out and put close one eye and put your finger in front of that eye and line it up with something in the distance. Then Open the other eye and close that eye, and you'll see that relative to your finger, the thing in the distance has actually moved. 
So we use this in the rotation of the Earth. So when the Earth's on one side of the Sun, we take measurements of where something is in relation to other things. Then when it goes to the other side of the Sun, we take another measurement, and we actually see slight, very, very slight parallax. And we're able to work out how far something is based on that. In this video, we've looked at why we need big units, because space is just so, so big. Uh, we've looked at the astronomical units, which are good for measuring things within the solar system. Uh, we've looked at light years being the speed that light travels, or that's rather the distance light travels at light speed in one year. And we've looked at a parsec being, it's technical, it's a big triangle with an arc second at the end. And we've talked about why we actually use parsecs, because that's how we measure distance in space. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.